The following contest is a tables match and is for the Million Dollar Championship. Introducing the challenger from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 204 pounds, Angel Ray P. C. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Some say he's the underdog tonight, but in his mind, winning the title is a mere formality. Make way for the double champ. And introducing the champion representing the NWO from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 186 pounds. He is the Million Dollar Champion, the legend El Jefe. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. of the Million Dollar Championship. Do you know the amount of security detail that comes with that title's travel arrangements? It's a small army. Well, then the challenger must be feeling lucky that he only has to get through the champ to own the title. Well, I mean, only one man truly owns the Million Dollar Belt, Byron, and we know who that is. Anyone else just has it on the loan. Knee strike connects. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, rolling through up top. Oh, my. Oh, cross neck breaker. Oh, using the knee. The challenger eating up some damage. How's that for a counter? Uh-oh. Dropping the knee for more punishment. He reverses it. The difficult thing to play around in a tables match is that it can literally end at any second. And that's entirely on you, though. You know what it takes to win or lose this match, so don't get swept up in the chance and the adrenaline. Keep your surroundings in mind and set up the table where you know you could dodge it if you had to. Continuing to work on their opponent's arm. Turn it into an arm breaker. 
He knew that was coming. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, propelled into the table. Big chop block. That'll stop you in your tracks. And now thrown back into the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. Taking the worst end of the exchange. Look at the velocity into the table. And this match will head back to the ring. And he hightails it to ringside. Look out! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. It's the cutter. Kick to the gut. Yeah. I have a theory what's coming next. Ataxia. Them hooked. Oh, cutter. Oh. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Putting that strain on. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. the submission before things got more disastrous for him. And Zagiri finds its mark. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. He steps foot in the ring again. He switches it back around. Bam! The effects of this match are showing on the champ. I think we're about to see a body go through a table real soon. He's setting up the table in the corner. This isn't going to be good. Comes back into the ring. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Laying it in. My God, enough! Heads out of the ring. What's next? Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Oh. Out of the way in time. right hand vicious in Zaguri. out of the ring what's his plan here he's looking for something this could get dangerous a table the WWE Universe is going wild getting back into the ring and what need is there to go looking under the apron like this He's doing some dangerous ridiculous. I think the table really ties it all together. He moved, but he was capitalized. He gets sent down to the floor. 
This one is headed outside, guys. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Just whipped into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not... Whoa! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Delivers the knee. Uh-oh. He's got him scouted. Oh, clothesline. A flat power into the scoop slam. Ooh. Oh, God. Ah, oh, striking with a knee. The champ in a worst case scenario. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Clearly waiting for that. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Climbs back inside. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Oh, impressive counter. Well executed hit toss. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. Oh, he retaliates. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges. So much could go wrong very quickly. Oh man, Armbreaker takes him down. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Kick to the gut. Cracked the run into a neck breaker. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh man, so many things can go wrong now. And he goes into the ring. Oh, man, I'm not liking the look of this. Cut no stick impact. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. He foiled that attempt. Four to the neck. strategy, but it might work. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Oh, no, he's in the line of 
danger now. That's it. The champ stays the champ. We're going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still the million dollar champion, the legend, El Jefe. Going through the table like that adds salt to the wound of losing. It's never fun to lose, but the added pain of going through a table is insult to injury. This one felt special from the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. He had really lived up to all the expectations.